So we went to this neighbor and said, and remember, this is, this is scrub land. This is not good, you know, grade A, class A land. This is, this is bush. This is, you know, totally, uh, it's got saplings in it. It's honeysuckle. You can't walk through it. I mean, it's great to try to step on a, you know, on a, on a deer if you want to. But, uh, you know, rabbits galore. All right, so we went to this neighbor and offered him $100 an acre. Would you lease this 20-acre field to us for 100 bucks an acre? Well, he'd never heard of such an outrageous thing. I mean, that would be like you going to somebody. Remember, this is scrubland, okay? This is not prime, you know, canola ground, okay? This is scrub. It's got saplings, honeysuckle, you know, brambles, junk, hawkweed, devil's shoestring. Uh, I mean, you can't walk through it. It's not $80 acre land, right? Even here, all right? So we offered him 100 bucks an acre. Now, oh, let's see here. So we've got this rectangular field. All right? And we went into this field and put in an alley right up the center with electric fence. All right. And then we laid out 40 paddocks, half an acre paddocks. All right. I'm, I'm not going to do them all. Imagine that I'm filling them all up, right? Okay. All right. All with electric fence. Now, each of these paddocks, all right, just imagine, I'll leave that there so you can visualize it. So here, here now is the configuration of a paddock. All right. So here's the alley. You come up. There's a, there's a gate to enter. So here's, here's the, oops. Here's the gate. So each paddock has a, has a little uh, eight foot, eight foot wooden. So that's a, that's a, this is the wooden gate, remember, that we, that we saw, the wooden gate. We'll put it like that, all right? And then, so that's the way the paddock looks. And of course, this is the alley up here, all right, here's the alley. And so this gate, of course, is an electric fence gate that's big enough so you can turn into it with the tractor. It's, uh, say, 50, 50 feet, you know, say 50 feet. All right, six meters. So you can turn in with a tractor. And this is the way the paddocks are configured. I'm sorry, I made a mistake again. All right, so you got another gate over here, another wooden gate. So each of these paddocks has an opening, but this wooden gate, you don't need but three of them because when the pigs are in here, when the pigs are in here, all you need is a gate here. When we move them to this, to the next paddock over, which is over here, ah. there's your gate, all right. You move them over here, you just take this gate here, and you bring this gate up here, set it up here, the pigs come in behind you to this one, after they're moved in, you move this gate here, up to here, so with only two gates, you can move these pigs along, are you with me? All right. And so imagine this 40 paddock thing, we're running, too many caps here. We're running these groups of pigs up through here. We spent roughly, um, uh, we, should have, we should have just kept a really good time record, but, but we ended up uh, spending about 40, if you say 40 hours a week, uh, what would be four, 160, let's say 160, 160 um, 
person hours, I won't even be sexist here. I'll even be person hours. I won't even say man hours, okay? 160 person hours pushing in wooden posts. So every one of these paddocks has a wooden post here, here. And when I say wooden post, I mean electric fence. So the thing is only, you know, five feet and, and uh, enough to just hold a nail, right? And there's a post here, 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 here. Anyway, it took, it, it, it took uh, whatever, you know, 300 posts, little, ele- little electric fence posts, okay? The whole infrastructure cost with electric fence, knobs, insulators, gate handles, okay? The whole infrastructure cost came out to about $2,000 with 160 person hours of development work. And we ran four simultaneous groups of pigs through here. In other words, a group would start here, group one, and up here at paddock 11, group two would start. Over here, group three would start. Over here at paddock Um, 31, group 4 would start. So each of these groups would move through their 10 paddock configuration before they came back to the first one. So we ran three, uh, four simultaneous. So we grew out six groups of pigs through this thing. And the reason it's six is because one of them grew out halfway. So so, um, stay with me here. Six groups of pigs at 50 pigs is um, 300 pigs at a gross of $900 a piece, which includes all of our processing, distribution, our whole retail, everything, okay? It includes the feed costs, so that's a gross, all right? I'm trying to get us to, to understand something here, which is a total of $270,000 gross on this 20 acre spot and we net $200 per pig times 300 is $60,000 in our pocket net from that 20 acre place. What do you think of that? That neighbor that got $100 an acre for that land that neighbor thought he died and gone to heaven. He said, man, these are the dumbest farmers I ever heard. Anybody paying $100 for this scrub junk land? Why, well, sure, I'll take their money, you know. And he'd sign on a dotted line. That was fine. He, I mean, he paid his whole, all of his entire rest of his farm taxes off of just the rent from this little 20-acre place. Hey, he thought he'd won the lottery. When in reality, paying 100 bucks an acre for something that's going to turn you $270,000 and put $50,000 in your pocket... Two th- that extra $1,000 beyond going rate for junk land is pocket change. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so this is called, this is called nook and cranny farming. And the beauty of this is that when this infrastructure, and by the way, we have written the lease So that if he ever wants to get rid of us or whatever we leave, we just go over there and in one day with a front end loader, we can pull all the stakes, reel up all the wires, put everything in a pickup truck, and we are gone. Oh, I didn't I didn't say the water. I I should have should have added the the beauty of the water. You know, we had we had a little bit of water line. We ran a water line right down this alley, so there was a valve at every uh, at every other paddock, and of course it could serve the ones across here. So we had, we had one, one valve for every four paddocks, but we, already, we, we were already leasing this neighbor's farm right here, so we had water coming up here, so all we had to do was bury a water line over here with our subsoiler, put it in the lane, boom, we were done. I mean, that took just a few hours to put that water line in, and we had our water, so it was just an extension of the thing. But this is the kind of nook and cranny farming that when you have portable infrastructure, lightweight, high-tech controlled infrastructure, suddenly you have a portable farm and you can afford to 
to develop. And when I say develop, I don't mean roads and strip malls and McMansions. I mean develop like this. See, this is ultimate, this is ultimate development. The, the question yesterday, uh, toward the end of the day, you know, about, about uh, you know, can you produce as much as if you just walked away or let nature take its course or whatever. You know, this is the kind of development using the high-tech electric fencing that gets us to where we want to go. Okay, um, let's go to questions. First of all, uh, welcome live stream community.